Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. You're seeing some very, very dirty fascia. You've got mold and mildew, you've got algae. And along here, we've got some dirt and grime along the flashing and uh, the soffits as well. You can see those soffits under there. Uh, they're really, really dirty, and I'll show you what those look like in, in just a second here. Good morning, everyone. We are gonna be doing a house wash along with some surface cleaning of a driveway and a, and a patio. We're gonna be X-jetting everything, but I will say this, and that's the reason I made the video. With the X-jet, even at a straight solution, you're getting a 4% mix, if that. So that's not gonna be strong enough to cut some certain types of organic matter, perhaps lichen, moss, uh, things like that. So it's really, really important to have different pump sprayers or 12 volt systems on your rig so that you can spray a much hotter mix. Um, the X-Jet will certainly take care of your pool enclosures. It will take care of your house washes, your driveways, um, your light staining. Uh, but when you get into heavy organics, you're gonna want to be able to provide a much stronger mix. Now, depending on the size of the job, you know, uh, next week I've got a, a 4,200 square foot house. I wouldn't wanna be walking around with a pump up sprayer. So the 12 volt will come in handy for that. But on smaller homes, 2,000 square feet and under, most of your staining that's gonna occur, <coughs> excuse me, is gonna be smaller. So a pump up sprayer, one or two gallon, it works just fine. Use the inexpensive ones because they're disposable. When we're sealing, if you don't have a system set up for sealing and you're using a pump sprayer, those are disposable units. Don't even bother cleaning them. Um, uh, you can clean them. You can use pine saw, baking soda. There's some things that you can use to clean out your sprayer, especially when you're getting into the higher end uh, sprayers. Um, uh, then I would, you know, if you're spending $120 for a, a nice, uh, you know, uh, metal sprayer, then, you know, um, you know, uh, the aluminum, the, 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 uh, then I would certainly clean it out. Um, and there's different remedies for that. But I stay with the uh, inexpensive ones. They're disposable. Um, now, if I'm shooting SH, sodium hypochlorite, if I'm shooting metasilicate, if I'm shooting um, uh, percarbonate, if I'm shooting uh, even Eflo, uh, even muriatic, um, or uh, any, any of the other types of degreasers that I use, the sodium hydroxides, um, you can clean out your sprayer and use it multiple times. You'll know when the seals are start to go because it's gonna leak and it's not gonna pump and hold air. You're gonna start to see that leaking around there or around the trigger. Now the triggers are replaceable and many of the parts are also replaceable. But um, this morning, I just want you to kind of take a look at, uh, at the house. The paint is in relatively good condition, but um, you know, uh, along the, um, you know, we're gonna clean the AC slab up for them. That's a nice, uh, solid, uh, hot mix on there. All you can do is take a pump up sprayer, make sure your AC is wet, take a pump up sprayer and hit that with your SH, let it dwell for a little while. Make sure you rinse really, really well because you don't want any bounce back. Um, any type of SH will start to corrode any type of metal hardware. So make sure you're rinsing these properly. Make sure they're wet before you put your solution on. But um, you can see what that, uh, what that fascia looks like up there. Um, you can see the dirt that's underneath the soffits there. Uh, now those are the lungs of your home. So those are breathing. If I take a look at the flashing, which is that two inch strip of metal up there, you can see how much dirt and grime is up there. So mildew is gonna start to collect with the moisture. Um, and, uh, and then you're gonna start to get your little ecosystem of, uh, of growth. I hope I'm not talking too loud. It's a beautiful day. It's finally warmed up here in Northern Central Florida. And uh, we're excited to have a, a big uh, schedule for this week and, and next week as well. Um, we're gonna do this uh, patio here. Um, and you can see sort of what that looks like. We're gonna take a quick little picture because uh, we do have some inorganic staining you guys can see there and that's gonna be your rust uh, from the patio furniture. F9 Bark is great for that. Um, and then we're gonna be doing this fireplace here. This is a little cook stove fireplace and you can see uh, this is the older brick and then they had some newer brick installed. Now the newer brick is so porous that it's holding the moisture. And when you hold the moisture, you're gonna get your organic matter. That's gonna be your mildew your mold and then obviously we've gotten into uh, our lichen and that's what lichen looks like right there. So, um, and then if I turn you around over here, you're gonna see what your algae looks like and you're starting with fungus and bacteria as well. So you can see that, all of that on there. Uh, and this is another reason why a pump up sprayer is great because a 4% solution is just gonna touch the surface of that. You really want a hot mix um, to burn that off and that way you, it's one and done, um, you know, and you're not gonna destroy anything. Never use high pressure on these, uh, any type of a brick surface. Um, and the reason being is because inside of a brick surface, you're gonna have 
mortar joints. And if those, if that mortar is compromised like this right here, you can see that gap, you'll be pushing moisture in and behind there. Now on a house, it's particularly important because you will get moisture behind those bricks and into the walls and you will create more mold and mildew than was there to begin with. So we never use high pressure on bricks. Do not be using your turbo tip on bricks. It just doesn't make any sense chemically cleaning and that way you lightly rinse it off and it looks absolutely brand new when you see this when i'm finished this mortar is going to look absolutely brand new same with the brick it's going to look absolutely gorgeous so uh be really conscientious of uh you know where you're applying your high pressure um, because it's unnecessary at this stage of the game uh, our industry has evolved to a whole new level i'm going to turn you guys up here and let you see this larger strip of uh uh, fascia uh, and flashing as well and how dirty that is so you can see that they're really ready for a house wash and if we look under here I'm going to show you uh, what your soft soffits should never really really look like so uh, these are the lungs of your home guys and um, you know that is uh, a lot of dirt and grime and what's happening unfortunately is their air conditioner is working overtime to try to cool that house down. Uh, they're also collecting moisture in their crawl space, uh, which adds to upper respiratory illnesses because uh, those hot pockets of air are unable to dissipate from the crawl space. Um, and so it's really, really important, you know, have your house washed every couple of years, but spray those soffits off every six, eight months, uh, you know, and that way the, the holes uh, in the soffits are breathing properly, they're performing as they should. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to make sure all your soffits are, you know, in line and that way no critters are getting into the house. Um, um, you can spray those at a 45 degree angle outward. So if I'm spraying, I'm gonna be spraying this way. I'm never gonna to wanna to be spraying into uh, the house because we don't wanna dump any water into that house. So um, really important to have those soffits done uh, you know, routinely. Uh, if I turn you around here, you can see uh, what we uh, this little garage area looks like and, and their driveway. So that's gonna be all made to look brand new. And this is another one of those reasons that a 4% solution just isn't gonna cut the job. Now we will lay a 4% solution uh, down, um, but the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna treat with a very hot, hot mix. Um, and I want you to take a look at this weather stripping and I want you to see the next video because I'm gonna make this weather stripping look absolutely brand new new. Um, you can see your algae, you can see your mold, you can see your bacteria, um, you can see what we have going on here. Here's a small uh, little split drive um, where it's great because if their car leaks oil, it just leaks right on there. Um, we're going to be doing this patio. Now we have made note that we have compromised paint. So any high pressure on that is just going to strip that paint off and that's why chemically cleaning is so, so important. Um, if I turn you around here, you can see all of your algae that's set up on there as well as the bottom foundation of the house. Really important, guys, when you're doing these homes to make sure you are covering from your flashing, your fascia, your soffits, your walls, your windows, and all the way down to the ground. And that's why if you're using a high pressure tip, you are gonna be blasting mud all over yourself. The X-Jet is fantastic for this because it'll just clear all that up once the solutions have killed all that. We'll clean all these vents up and make those look brand new. And, um, you can see your molds that have set up here. See that green, that bright green? That's just mold, guys. Um, and that's because of the moisture. Um, now we've made note of all the um, compromised areas. We have split block, we have uh, paint failure. We have a bunch of things. Uh, check out this vent down here. This is a dirty vent. Now make note of this because in that next video that you guys may watch, uh, you're gonna see that thing turn bright white. Um, so. It's really important to hire somebody that knows what they're doing. If you look up here, you can just see the bugs and uh, that a good surfactant will really help loosen up all of your spider webs um, and things like that that you have in there. Let's see if I can get you guys a, a picture of something somewhere. Uh, you can just see your spider webs and your, your standard dirt that, that gets sort of uh, trapped in there. Um, and uh, so, there is the rig we're getting set up and we're going to pull some uh, high pressure hoses and we're going to pull some uh, supply line um, thank you so much for watching my videos stay tuned for the next one because it will be the after video of this particular house and uh, check in next week because i've got in a beautiful home uh 4200 square foot home absolutely gorgeous full restoration paver ceiling the whole nine yards take care everyone have a great day trevor thompson tnt pressure cleaning dynamite service with explosive results take care bye-bye